Into today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a custom cursor for your website. We're going to need a custom cursor, functional component, as well as a style file. And for the functional component, it's going to be a We're gonna give it a class name of up um, and uh, we're gonna import the style file file and in our main component we're gonna import the custom cursor component and uh, And now um, we're gonna style the here. is have a z index it should be on top for the right is we're gonna make it a circle with the, a black border and um current background so eight pixels for width and for height pixels border on pixels solid um, black and we don't need any pointer events and we have an overflow hidden then we set the default translate and we will set it position fixed. Now, if, if we watch, we can see that our custom cursor that's gonna look like. And now we need it to make it to follow our cursor. So we need to define a custom um, cursor rough, which is a rect, use rough uh, hook, and a null by default. And we're gonna need to use the event listener mouse move. So for the initial um, update or for the component did mount, if you are familiar with it, we're gonna add the add event listener of mouse move, which will give us the event and we're gonna get the client x or and client y from the event which is the position x and y position on the screen and we'll get the new mouse x position is client y minus um, half of um, the custom cursor and for the mouse Y is um, again uh, uh, the Y position minus the half of the height. And now we're gonna set the, the uh, new updated values to the transform CSS property of our uh, custom app cursor. So custom ref dot current dot style transform is, uh, is um, translate 3d and we're gonna set for the x position mouse x pixels for the y position mouse y pixels and for the z we'll leave it as it is and then we're gonna set the ref to the cursor ref and now we should have a custom cursor following our default cursor and now what is left is to um, hide the the default browser cursor and this is rather simple we go here and we write 
for the HTML, for the body and for everything inside of it, we gonna set the cursor to none. And now we have created a custom cursor in only a few lines of code. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and comment down below. And for today, that's it. This with you, it was Nico and see you to the next one.